16 million 300,000 Americans fought in World War II, 900,000 of whom were black. Some of them have finally won the recognition that they deserve. Here's ABC's Ron Claiborne. 1944, the all-black 761st Tank Battalion was driving against the Germans in northern France. In a fierce battle, 25-year-old Sergeant Reuben Rivers was badly wounded, but refused to leave the front. Two days later, he was killed, leading a tank charge. He could have gone home, over and beyond the call of duty, staying in the line with a serious wound in great pain and fighting it out with an enemy. Williams recommended Rivers for the Congressional Medal of Honor, the nation's highest military decoration. Instead, he got the Silver Star. The best black soldier, their best was not good enough for the Congressional Medal of Honor. 433 medals of honor were awarded during World War II, not one to a black soldier. Many black veterans say they were denied honors or given lesser medals than they deserved because of ingrained racism in the military. There was a lot of segregation. We were black, and the people giving the, the awards and the medals were all white. The army was a reflection of the largest social milieu of American society, and racism was very much a part of American society. Gibran is conducting a Defense Department investigation into the cases of 10 black soldiers, including Reuben Rivers, to see if they were unjustly denied the Medal of Honor. Last week, only after winning a lawsuit, Alonzo Swan received the Navy Cross for shooting down a kamikaze plane 49 years ago. My grandchildren will be able to say their grandfather changed history. For the black veterans, that is what's important, not just medals, but that history knows what really happened. Ron Claiborne, ABC News. There are others who have trained at Fort Hood near Colleen and fought in World War II on two fronts. The 761st Tank Battalion, composed almost entirely of black soldiers, battled discrimination at home and the Germans in Europe. Channel 8's Brad Watson reports they're finally receiving the honor and detention they deserve. A long journey for these World War II veterans finally ended at this street corner. After fighting in World War II and passing through 50 more years, Members of the 761st Tank Battalion returned to Fort Hood where they trained and fought another battle on the home front. The acts of courage of the 761st were frequent and certainly possessed uncommon valor. The 761st got its intensive tank training at what was then Camp Hood in 1943 and 44. The Army was harshly segregated then and after forming three all-black tank battalions kept them separate from white units. The 761st confronted discrimination on and off base. For example, the soldiers weren't allowed in certain parts of town. My second time in Colleen, Texas was today. My first time in Colleen, Texas was 50 years ago when I had to be escorted in to cash a um, Red Cross check to go home to uh, see my sick mother. But some white officers wanted to serve with the 761st. Philip Latimer grew up in Northeast Texas with parents who didn't tolerate segregation. And when I was asked would I be willing to serve with black tankers, uh, I thought it over and I decided, yes, maybe I can serve my country better that way. And that's why I volunteered to do so. But the Army found the 761st excelled in spite of the second-class treatment. When General George Patton, commander of the 3rd Army, asked for the best remaining tank battalions in the country for combat in Europe, the Army sent the 761st. They lived up to their motto, come out fighting. Their first battle was in France in November 1944, then in Belgium in December at the Battle of the Bulge. From Belgium, they slashed into Holland. After regrouping, they punched through the German Siegfried Line in March 1945. And then days later, the 761st pushed deep into Germany, and then well into Austria when the war ended in May. Despite the heartbreaking segregation, the 761st fought hard. This is my country, right or wrong, I don't care. Even right today, we still encounter segregation and racial hate, and everything, but this is still mine. Now, some of the remaining veterans of the 761st return to Fort Hood to accept the recognition so long overdue. <laughs> the base renamed one of its streets 761st Tank Battalion Avenue. The Army also supports a private fundraising effort to build a monument to the 761st at the base. To continue to distort the past with particular regard to blacks in World War II 
is to deny the meaningfulness and the importance of American history. These black vets lived in the past, and they'll marvel at the present. Today, as I look around in Killeen, Texas, it is unbelievable. As I see the comradeship and how uh, people have just mingled, they have found that it's better to be American all the way than have that dissension and segregation. The 761st's long trip back to Texas showed just how far the Army and America have come. Brad Watson, Channel 8 News, Fort Hood. The 761st fought 183 days straight in combat at a time when most tank battalions were pulled out after 10 to 15 days. In 1978, President Jimmy Carter awarded the 761st the Presidential Unit Citation, an award denied until then because of the segregation of the 1940s. Thank you, and because of you, we just... Mrs. Beverly, as a senator, will you please come forward? On behalf of General Trump and the entire Fort Hood community, I would like to present you with a plaque that commemorates your efforts, that says thank you, and because of you, we're just a little bit better today.
to extend our outreach program, which, which involves um, our black veterans coming into the area high schools and other high schools across the nation to share their personal experiences with us starting the whole story about World War II. A grateful nation remembers. For some of us, those few words bring about feelings of sadness, feelings of pride, feelings of duty, and love of country, because this is the only country I know. I urge all Americans everywhere to become interested and supportive of the center. I would like to remind you that this is not a Texas project. This is not a black project. This is a national effort. It is not necessary to wait till Veterans Day or Black History Month. To... The 761st Tank Battalion was a model of how all World War II units should have been. Committed, hardworking, determined, dedicated, extremely courageous, and united. Yes, united, despite the, the time of the segregation of friends. The men of the 761st, as well as the 758, the 780 tank destroyer, and others were very highly decorated. For example, there were many Purple Hearts, Bronze Stars, Silver Star medals awarded, but to this day, not one black World War II veteran has been awarded the highest honor, the Medal of Honor. History has been distorted for far too long, and I think it's time we set the record straight. For instance, the history of the Battle of the I think it's important that we utilize this living knowledge now before it's all gone. Segregation in the military was needless and very painful, but black I urge all of you to join me and my committee in the fight against falsification by omission with regard to the participation of black Americans who served so faithfully in World War II. Finally, Remember that this country is a home of not one of them should ever be forgotten, regardless of the culture. Thank you, Mr. Taylor. Ladies and gentlemen. Lieutenant General Funk. And the lady one other folks. How about that?